Today at Willwood Disc Brakes, we're going to show you how easy it can be to upgrade your vehicle to our big brake kit. Before we begin, it's important to read through our datasheet instructions designed for your application to verify brake lines, wheel clearance, and look for any variations that may have taken place before or after the vehicle left the factory. With the vehicle properly secured and the wheels removed, we suggest taking some photos of the current setup for reference if needed. Disassemble the original equipment brakes. The dust shield needs to be modified to clear the new Willwood rotor. Note, it is recommended that the dust shield be removed before modification and the modifications be performed by a qualified machine shop. The caliper mount bracket should initially be installed with clean, dry threads on the mounting bolts. Initially place one shem on each bolt between the bracket and the upright. Orient the bracket as shown and install using bolts and washers. Temporarily tighten the mounting bolts. Note, the bracket must fit squarely against the mounting bosses on the upright. Inspect for interference from casting irregularities, machining ridges, burrs, etc. Orient the rotor and the hat as shown. Attach the rotor to the hat using the bolts and washers. Apply red Loctite 271 to the bolt threads and torque to instruction specifications using a crisscross pattern. The bolts must be safety wired using standard 0.032 inch diameter stainless steel safety wire as shown. Refer to Willwood's datasheet DS386 for complete safety wire installation instructions. Slide the hat and rotor assembly onto the axle hub. Note. The hat must fit flush against the axle hub flange or excessive rotor runout may result. Install three lug nuts finger tight to keep the hat and rotor assembly in place while continuing with the installation. Initially place two shims between the caliper and the bracket. Note: This kit contains distinct right and left hand calipers that must be mounted in a specific direction. Ensure that the caliper is mounted so that the largest pistons are at the rotor exit end of the caliper in relation to the direction of the rotor rotation. Mount the caliper onto the bracket using lock nuts and washers. Temporarily tighten the lock nuts and view the rotor through the top opening of the caliper. The rotor should be centered in the caliper. If not, adjust by adding or subtracting shims between the bracket and the upright. Always use the same amount of shims on each of the two mounting bolts. Once the caliper alignment is correct, remove the bracket mounting bolts one at a time Apply red Loctite 271 to the threads and torque to instruction specifications. Remount the rotor and caliper. Remove the caliper center bridge pad retainer bolt, nut, and tube from the caliper. Insert the brake pads into the caliper with the friction material facing the rotor. Check that the top of the brake pad is flush with the outside diameter of the rotor. If not, adjust by adding or subtracting shims between the caliper and the bracket. After the caliper pad height is set, torque the caliper lock nuts to instruction specifications. Reinstall the center bridge pad retainer tube, bolt, and lock nut. The lock nut should be snug without play in the boulder tube. Be cautious not to over tighten. Using PTFE tape, install the fitting into the caliper. Connect the flex line to the fitting. Disconnect the brake line from the hard line. Unbolt and remove the OEM bracket. Slide the bulkhead fitting through the provided bracket and connect to the hard line. Install the provided bracket with the OEM bolt. Install the provided retaining clip.
Attach the flex line to the bulkhead fitting. Double check all your work for safety reasons, and when ready, perform a full system fill and bleed with new wheelwood brake fluid best suited for your application. Be sure to check again for sufficient wheel clearance and follow the directions for proper bedding of pads and pedal feel. Contact a professional if you encounter any difficulties or have any doubts or any questions.